What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through a buttload of stuff just to get here. And, uh, well, here we are, Olivine City. Pretty cool town, city, all that stuff right across the sea. And, well, we'll take a small tour afterwards. We need to go straight to the lighthouse because apparently something is a foot. There is a big foot up in the lighthouse, and we need to check that foot out. I don't know why. So, if you go talk to this guy, let's see what he says. Dark roads are dangerous at night, but in a pitch black night, the sea is always more treacherous. Without the beacon of the lighthouse to guide her, no ships can sail, which is so true. So goddamn true. Now, let's see, I see an item right there, which we can get to a little bit later, but what we need to do right now is we need to go in straight to the lighthouse because there's something going on, and well, in the past, the Pokemon uh, used to light the sea around all of, my city, all of my night. The lighthouse was made to pay tribute for those Pokemon, which is pretty true right here. Now, we could easily go into the elevator, but that right there would just lead us to some backdrop where, you know, we can't reach the gym later. So, what we're going to do is we're going to be switching it up. We're going to be uh, training our Pokemon because we can. Alrighty, let's do this. And, uh, well, eh, there's no, play no place for playing. So let's go right ahead and battle this guy. Let's see what he has to say. Gentleman Alfred wants to battle, coming with his Noctowl. First time we're seeing a Noctowl in quite some time, and well, we can't use Shadow Ball, that's for sure. But we always got a quick attack. We're just gonna have to use the crud out of quick attack, just like we did against uh, what's his name, Dugong. All right, quick attack again. Look at that. And this guy is causing an uproar, which is not good at all. So again, another quick attack and another uproar right here. Come on. Look at that. Noctowl has been defeated. Relic kicking ass. Take your names. Okay. Of course, he wants to trade phone numbers and all that stuff, which is good, but I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna give him my phone number because he, he has nothing of importance to me right now. And, well... Let's see. Actually, you know what? Let's just go continue with relics right here and just defeat everybody we got. Okay, so men of the sea are always spoiling for a good fight. So true. I think. I don't even know. So here we go. Sailor Huey coming out with Poliwag. And, well, we're going to get double slapped because we're not that fast right now. So here we go. Shadow Ball nearly takes him out. Quick attack right here. And that does it for this guy. And he's going to be coming out with a Poly World. So you know what? Let's continue right here. What I'm trying to do is get a Relic to evolve, like right now. Like right now, right now. I'm pretty sure it likes me. Or likes me, I don't even know. But look at this. Quick attack. Nearly defeats this guy. And he is coming out with a Rain Dance, which will kind of boost his uh, attack just a little bit. But guess what? Quick attack does its trick. And Huey has been defeated. And, well, I am not going to give him anything. Because, uh, well, you don't want to battle him right now. So, let's go ahead and heal our po uh, heal up our Pokemon right here. And we did buy quite a few uh, Super Potions. Probably should uh, use them all and all that stuff. Okay, so let's see. Now, the aesthetics of this whole lighthouse has been changed just a little bit. It looks pretty cool right here. Look at that. Shake's looking at us. What are you here for? Just stand around and gonk? I suggest you leave. Wow. Gawk. And here we have Theo coming with his Pokemon, and uh, well, let's continue this onslaught right here with a quick attack. And yeah, so we're gonna get sand attacked. We missed. Good God, this guy, of course, is trying to blind us, and it's working. With the two turns, come on. Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah, there's no way we're gonna hit this guy now. How in the hell did Seal and Dugong hit me with uh, with all those attacks? And this guy right here is just. Having his way with me right now. There we go. Quick attack does its thing. 99 experience points. Let's go ahead and switch out. Let's give the ball to a fluff volt right here and see what it can do. It's a book. Uh, it's a bird catcher. So let's go with thunder shocks. Make it easy on my Pokemon right here. Do you not want to do anything else except just beat every single one of these guys? So let's continue on. Thunder shock. There we go. Pidgey does it. Everybody. Gets experience points. Continue on right here. And let's go again. Another Thunder Shock. And look at that. Pidgey has been defeated. And wow. This guy really needs to evolve his Pokemon. He really does. Alrighty. So there we go. 
Pidgey. Defeated. Cinder. Everybody else gets points. And I'm happy about this, which is good. Okay, so let's go upstairs and battle some more trainers. I travel with the world and train my Pokemon. Now I wish to battle you. That's pretty good to see. That's pretty good to hear, I guess. A time traveler, or no, not a time traveler, just a traveler right here. And yes, he's gonna have a Growlithe. That's not cool, man. That is not cool. And that Amber attack does not do anything to us, not yet. And Growlithe has been defeated. Alrighty, look at that. And he's gonna come out with another Growlithe, so I'm just gonna continue right here with Relic. Alright, Relic. We're not, gonna, we're not gonna physically attack this guy. We're just gonna special attack him, but look at that. He's going with an Odor Sleuth. Not so effective right now. And look at that. Growlithe has been defeated. And Cyndagross is a level 29. Very, very good. And, well, let's see. If you see a light right here, there is an opening to this whole location right here. And you'll be able to see the outside of the lighthouse. As you can see, guys, it's a very, very nice area. Very nice addition to this whole game right here. And, well, it's daytime right here. And we found ourselves a rare candy, which we will be using on Relic once it grows to another level right here. Look at that. It's pretty, it's pretty cool stuff right there. Very, very cool stuff. So, moving on forward. I think we're in another location right here, so we're just going to be battling this guy. What do you have to say for yourself? Jasmine must be worried sick about the Pokemon here. She won't even smile these days. Well, if I was in her pantaloons, I would be feeling the same way too. So here he comes out with a Krabby. I'm going to go straight for the Shadow Balls right here. Look at that. Shadow Ball does its trick right here. And, uh, well, it almost grew a level, so I'm going to continue throwing this Onslaught. And going with a Shadow Ball. Look at that. Krabby. Trying to harden, but guess what? I already found a wound, and that wound is going to be exposed right here with a Shadow Ball again. Yes, sir, and look at that. Grows to level 26, and we defeated Sailor Kent, which is good. Now, let's go ahead and use that uh, rare candy right here. Just to give it one more level. Now, we're trying to evolve the relic right here, and so far, nothing. Okay, so it's at level 27. We still got ways to go. Really, really would like this Pokemon to evolve into an Espeon pretty soon here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go with Nessie. And we're going to continue our adventure right here. Grabbing this. We found ourselves an Aether, which is good. And, uh, well, there are some trainers right here that want to battle us. Especially this guy. Or chick. I don't even know. We're pretty high up here. My bird Pokemon are at the prime form. Yes, you guys are. Okay, so here we go. Bird Keeper Dennis wants the battle. And, well... I'm going to be coming out with an Ice Shard. Not so effective, but still something. And, well, let's see what happens. It takes out the Spearow, which is good. Look at that. And he's going to be coming out with a Spearow. So, or a Fero. Very easy Pokemon to defeat, but here comes its Pursuit Attack. Here comes the Surf Attack. Nearly defeats this guy right here. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's going to go with Fury Attack, but guess what? Nessie can take it because it's got another surf attack right here. Look at that. Okay, Nessie finally growing to level 23. And, well, he's going to be coming out with a Spearow. So, let's go with Fluffbolt. Another person that probably will evolve within the next few episodes. Give or take, I don't know. Maybe next few, I don't even know. So here we go, Thundershock for the win. That's right. Look at that. Dennis has been defeated. Alright, let's continue. Okay, so we're going upstairs, and I see items around this area. kind of want to get them, and, well, let's see. Nessie already grew a level, so let's go ahead and give the... Let's give another turn for another Pokemon. Let's go with Tax, uh, Toxie Batman right here. And Sailors are both kind of strong, and how about you? Kind and strong. I'm somewhat strong, and I'm not that kind. So, here we go again. Terrell wants to battle us, and he's coming with his Poliwhirl. Easy. Let's go. Wing attack. Not really a fighting type Pokemon yet, but eventually it will. And good god, we are asleep. So we're just gonna we're just gonna play through this whole thing right here. And here comes that rain dance. Come on, sweet baby Jesus, wake up. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Terrell has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. 
Okay, so let's move on right here. And uh, of course, our mother's gonna be calling us. Oh God, seriously, Mama, why can't you just leave me alone for just a sec? All right, there we go. Match up. You, 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 you strong, but guess what? You don't stand a chance against my crowbat right here. And look at that, more points for everybody else. So let's give a little bit of Holy World to uh, Toxa or Club Bolt right here. And well, let's go right ahead and go with the Thunder Shock. And that enhances my attack just a little bit more. So thank you for the work. Look at that. Yes, sir. Look at that. And it rains. Okay, so I'm going to continue with Fluffle because that rain right there not only powers up water types, but also electric type Pokemon. And yeah, Karate Chime me all you want. I'm still going to beat you. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, well, we defeated Roberto. Roboito. Alrighty. Now, as I'm currently doing this whole walkthrough right here, I'm actually uh, <laughs> rendering the next few episodes of uh, Pokemon Heart Gold right here. You see that? You see how dedicated I am to you guys? I'm pretty damn dedicated. And here we are at the end of the lighthouse right here. Now, if you talk to to Whitney or to Jasmine, this Pokemon always kept uh, the sea lit at night. But it suddenly got sick. It's gasping for air. I understand that there is a wonderful pharmacy in Sinewood. But that's across the sea, and I can't leave Amphi unattended. She pushes us to the side, presses this little button right here, and look at that. We can actually go through this area now. Look at that. Okay, so let's see. May I ask you to get some medicine for me, please? Sure, why not? Why not? Because I'm a good guy, right? I am a very, very, very good guy. And look at that. We found ourselves another super potion, which could be used for a lot of stuff maximum stuff and all that stuff okay so this automatically takes us down to the very first floor and I think that's pretty much it I think yeah we defeated everybody not not everybody but we yeah we kind of breeze through this whole thing it usually takes me about like 15 20 minutes to get through it but it is what it is okay so here we are in Olivine City now that we're done with that whole section right there we can actually take a small tour of this place uh, there really isn't a lot to see right here, except, you know, maybe you'll get a fishing rod here and there. Let's see, if you talk to this guy, I'm assuming they'll do it. More friendly with you if you spend time. Yes, that is true. Speaking of which, I gotta make Relic love me. Like, literally love me. And, well, let's go straight to this area right here, because I believe there's a special item that you can get right here. Uh, let's see, if you talk to this guy, whenever I roll into Olivine, I always visit the Elevine, ca Olivine Cafe. Everything on the menu makes me feel stronger. I can't stop eating. Okay. And gobble, gobble, gobble. Choke, choke, choke. Oh, I'm choking. Woo! That was close. I did chew before I swallow my food. That is true. And if you talk to this guy, you! How is your Pokemon training coming along? Have you ever noticed that in the mountains, sometimes there are round boulders right on your way? You can move it with them and it moves strength. Hikers at Mount Mortar sometimes have extra, or so I've heard, which we kind of, wait, actually we already got strength, I think, maybe, wait, hold on, hold your horses, hold your horses, do I have strength, yeah, I already got strength, never mind, I got strength, uh, wow, it's been a while, you see, this is what happens when you take a month off from uh, playing this game. Now, let's see, there really isn't a lot that you can actually, uh, you could find right here, guys, except for a guy that wants to trade you a Krabby or a Voltor for a Krabby or something, or vice versa. So, in the next episode, we will be going across the sea just to, uh, take care of business and all that crud. So, stay tuned, guys, I'll be back for another episode of Pokemon Heart Gold. See you guys.